what's up everyone and welcome to today's video. So outside of Hillsboro, if you are headed towards McPherson, so headed west, there's a cutoff for K-15. If you follow K-15 north, about 40 minutes, you run into a little town called Abilene. Now Abilene, Kansas, it was the end of Abilene was the end of the Chisholm Trail. Literally, they drove the cattle up from Texas through Oklahoma, what we now know as Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas, ending in Abilene, which is also where the railroad ended. And that's where the cattle went off to wherever the cattle were going. So something to note, which is a fun fact, Abilene, Kansas was actually Abilene first. Abilene, Texas was named after Abilene, Kansas really big town compared to really little town. But anyway, on kind of off of the highway, kind of in town, kind of on the edge of town, is a Russell Stover's factory. Now, if you don't know what Russell Stover's is, Russell Stover's is one of the chocolate company that makes the awesome little chocolate bunnies, makes the little heart-shaped boxes of candy, makes Christmas marshmallow Santas, all that kind. Now, here at the factory, they have what's called a seconds room. I know, right? This is stuff that maybe didn't sell, maybe they overproduced, and it's still good. But they can't sell it for full price. So Sam and I went on a little drive over Memorial Day weekend because Sam has family that is buried in Abilene. So we went up there to pay our respects. But while we were there, we stopped at the Russell Stover's factory. I popped in, kind of walked around the second area a little bit. Let's get started, I'll show you what I got, and then I'll kind of give you a look at what the second room looks like. I know you guys are really more excited about what I bought and how much I spent than what the second room looks like, maybe. So we'll start with what I bought, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I spent $3.98 because all of these items were half off. So literally I spent just about $4 and I would have spent eight if everything had been full price. Now, some what the awesome thing about this is that they sometimes have samples out so that you can like try a piece, maybe indulge that little bit of chocolate you need for the day. But I just think this is a great way if, if you live locally to Abilene, like I said, we're about an hour, 40 minutes to an hour away. There are other places as well nationwide there's going to be other places nationwide if you listen to Sam. From Russell Stover's. And so if you can Google them, find a Russell Stover's location near you, see if they have a seconds area. So I pulled, I bought two, four, I bought six items and I paid $4 plus really with tax. So here is what I picked up. This is from Easter. This is a coconut and, this is an egg. It was coconut and almond and it is covered in milk chocolate and it says it's 50% bigger. So here is the little chocolate egg. Now they all, this is from Pang Burns of Texas, which falls under the Russell Stover's like umbrella. There's other like chocolate companies that fall under Russell Stover's. I think what, what Whitman's is one of them. Yeah. Whitman's is pretty much another name for Russell Stover's. Um, but this says Texas size, Pang Burns of Texas Millionaire. Pecans and honey caramel and milk chocolate. Made in Texas. So it is pretty decently sized and it even has the little made in Texas emblem on the back. So they had a ton of these. Then I have a couple other things from Easter. I have a chocolate truffle egg. I have a sea salt and caramel egg. And then these other two items are actually from Christmas. They are ornaments. Now I will say I never saw these in like Walmart or Target when we were shopping for Christmas goodies. So if you want something unique, look for one of these Russell Stover's outlets near you because you never know really what you can find. So this is a sea salt and caramel covered in dark chocolate ornament. And you can kind of see it looks like an ornament on the packaging. And this is another ornament. This is a caramel ornament covered in milk chocolate. And like I said, I paid about 59 cents a piece for these. Um, it's a great way, especially if you've got kids and you're going to pack lunches for the school year, it's a great way to um, stock up on items that are pretty inexpensive, but are, 
you know, their name brand. And they are a great way to put that treat into a lunchbox. You can use them in like, you can buy up a box of them for a road trip. The possibilities are really endless. One of the things that I didn't pick up on this trip but that we might pick up in the future is called a bloopers box. Now a bloopers box is just simply that. It's a blooper candy. Now a blooper candy is, there's nothing wrong with it. Here's, that's the thing. There's nothing wrong with this piece of candy. There's just some flaws to it. Maybe the chocolate didn't melt correctly, so maybe it bubbled. Maybe the chocolate was a little too, it was too, um, it was scorched a little bit, So, but it was still good enough to sell, but not good enough to sell and put it into a box that goes to the stores. You can tell that our, the sun is going in and out of clouds with this video. Um, maybe, maybe the truffles didn't get the drizzle on top. That was what happened to the piece that I sampled. The list goes on and on. The, tr the blooper boxes are heavy. And they are, at the time that I'm making this video, $24.99 a piece. And today when we were there, they actually had the bloopers boxes. Buy one box, get one box free. So really you're paying $12.50 per box if you buy, buy it if they have the deal. Definitely Sam and I love the bloopers boxes. We have purchased bloopers boxes before and we actually put them in the freezers to help keep them safe fresher longer. And we just pop out a few pieces and let them defrost and kind of thaw so they're softer or you can pop them in the microwave. Um, if you are packing Lunchables, if you are doing, I know the new thing is bento boxes. These little blooper truffles, little chocolate pieces of a blooper box is the perfect accompaniment to a bento box lunch as well. So that is what I bought. That's how much I spent. I'm now going to leave you with a couple clips of tours of the inside of the main store. The main store has like what you would expect from a candy shop. It's got jelly beans. It's got an ice cream counter. It's got regular um, non-discounted items for sale. They have sugar-free items. They have regular sugar items. So I'll put that clip in first. Then I'll give you kind of a rough view of the whole seconds room and then a few smaller clips that I took. So let me know in the comments below. Do you guys have a Rostover store near you? Does it have the seconds room and do you take advantage of it? Or are you now going to look into if you have a Russell Stover store near you or drive to find one? Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.